Hi, my name is Pastor Brett Leonard, and I am a pastor with Shiloh Fellowship Ministries in Colville, Washington. I suffered with a very severe digestive problem for over 20 years. I had a condition that eventually the doctors diagnosed as pancreatitis. It caused a lot of vomiting and nausea and pain, tremendous pain. I remember one time I had pain so bad that I thought I was going to die. It affected my family, my, my, my wife, my children. It made hardships on all of us. I had prayed for years for God to do a miracle in my life. I went to go see my doctor because my diet was getting very, very limited. I, I seemed to not be able to eat any kind of fats. Couldn't eat any dairy, couldn't eat any meat. Hadn't eaten at restaurants. I hadn't eaten at a restaurant for over 10 years. And uh, being a pastor and traveling, uh, minister at times, that can be very difficult. So he prescribed me a prescription enzyme, and I had to take this enzyme with everything that I ate, with every meal. I asked him, I said, so what's gonna happen when I can't eat anything anymore, when I just, I couldn't tolerate anything? And he looked at me very seriously and said, then we put you on a feeding tube. Pancreatitis is precancer of the pancreas, and your pancreas is what uh, produces enzymes to help you digest your food, and my, my pancreas was not functioning properly, it was not producing the enzymes. So at the beginning of 2015, uh, this couple, a uh, friend of mine, told me that they were going to Cameroon to visit Apostle John Chi and the AGCOM ministry, and they asked me would I be interested in going. I said, well, yeah, I had this digestive problem, and, and I'd always told God, I'd say, you're gonna have to heal me before I go overseas. I can't go overseas unless you heal me. But I knew what the Word of God said, that uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And God was saying, go, and I had to obey. I took off to, to Cameroon and uh, I packed a bunch of cans of refried beans and I was gonna live on bean burritos the whole time I was there. Sunday came around and uh, they put me in the prayer line. He comes up to me and he puts his hands on me and immediately I felt nothing, <laughs> absolutely nothing. In fact, Apostle didn't even say anything, but he looked me straight in the eyes. As he put his hands on me, he looked me straight in the eyes. I could feel the love of God coming through Apostle. And that really impressed me, because I know the Word of God says that faith can move mountains, but faith must operate through love. And I needed to hear a word from the man of God uh, before I would go off my medicine. So that night I went to go visit Apostle, and the first thing he said to me was, go test your healing. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. I went back to the hotel. They made us African food. And so I ate the food that night without my medication. I went the next morning without taking my medication, ate fried foods uh, and uh, foods that I wouldn't normally eat, ate meat. By the end of the day after dinner, and nothing had happened, I knew that I was completely healed. Over, I couldn't believe that my past was over, that my healing had taken place. It was just a tremendous uh, uh, experience and I was just so thankful for what the Lord had done. I just want to advise those who have been praying for a a miracle or a healing or a deliverance, don't give up. Don't give up in your prayers. Believe what the Word of God says. God has a timing for your deliverance. God has a timing for your healing. God bless you. Thank you for letting me share my testimony with you.